I added fire warning to KSP. A few days ago, while adding subtitles, I found myself watching some old videos, and I came across a parody video of Battlefield 2042. The sound effects were playing, and I thought it would be fun. So I start this project. To do this, I first needed to familiarize myself with the excellent system of Beat Armory. So, I downloaded great open source code, prepared Visual Studio, and gathered countless references. Well, let's move on. How does the fire alarm get triggered? That's right, it goes off when there's a fire. This leads us to various codes that ignite fire, specifically in bullet FX. This means that fire occurs when a bullet is fired. So let's take a closer look at that. Depending on the caliber and type of parts, well, that's the general idea of the code. However, since the bullet sounds in Bidarmory were a bit dull, I started by changing the bullet sound first. But in contrast to the bullet sound, the sound made when firing was way too boring. So, I also replaced the machine gun sound with something more realistic. After adding the new machine gun sound, I realized that I needed a target to shoot at. I added a target, but the sound wasn't playing on the radar, so I had to verify visually if the scanning was working. That's when I decided to add the scanning sound. After scanning, I needed to lock on, so I found some excellent references from Ace Combat and sourced the lock-on sound through the appropriate pathways, while changing most of the UI and weapon sounds to Ace Combat sound effects. Just when I was ready to enjoy this fitting flight shooting game, I realized that my chaff and flares had run out. So, I implemented a mechanic where sounds play based on the number of chaff and flares. Originally, it didn't work this way, but I made it so that sounds would play every five units. Returning to the sounds, after adding the appropriate audio, I needed to trigger a sound when something caught fire. Initially, I added this to bull effects, and it led to some unexpected results. After several experiments, I realized that handling it in bull effects was quite inefficient. So, I changed it to run in fire effects. Regardless, it works well now. Oh, now I should enjoy this fun flight simulator, right? Oh right, I changed the explosion sound as well. Well, that's it for now. Next time, I'll change the sound effects based on the type of missiles. Don't forget to subscribe and like to not miss out on this opportunity.